what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be the february haul everything i got in february it's quite a lot grab a snack not sure how fast i'm going to do this but let's start with this one this is a corgi 500 piece puzzle i think it's absolutely adorable look at that thing all the little corgis are certainly going to be a challenge but you know i'm up for it and i'm ready to do it up next is another puzzle that we got. It is a 750 piece um, Rose Motel puzzle. I don't know. It just, it looks retro. As you can see, it's called Back to the Past. I'm all for doing retro puzzles. I love this brand. I have a lot of them. But you can just see like the old, old style car, the old style clothing. I don't know. It just, it looks, it caught my eye. We got it, I can't wait to do it. Another thing that I wanted to point out that I got was a power tool, mini version of it. And it's adorable. You just charge it up. It doesn't have like a little base thing that you charge it with. And it came with a flat head and a Phillips screw head that you can just throw it in there and then just has a little flashlight. Look how cool. It's cute. It's, <laughs> You never know when we need it. This is something that I got or that was given to me for Valentine's Day. It just says, you have a piece of my heart. And it's a little doggy holding a little pizza. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. I don't know. I like that you can like fold the ears back. And he just looks so derpy and stupid. <laughs> and then after Valentine's Day, Kevin got me a long for you Valentine plushie from Walmart super adorable it looks like a body pillow oh it says i long for you valentine it just looks like a body pillow thought it was cute they had a ton of these that just sits here with my pizza heart looks cute this is something i got before valentine's day i thought it was adorable it looks like the uh candy heart things the communication hearts i hate how those taste but i love how they look so when i saw it in a tumbler it was a no-brainer. I have a ton of tumblers, but it was five something with tax at, from five below. Adorable. They call it a Galentine. And it just says BFF, bestie, best friends. Over and over and over <laughs> again. But I thought it was cute and everyone at work likes it too. So a new thrift store opened up near me and we went to go check it out. And I saw this book. And it's called What Dog? A guide to help new owners select the right breed for their lifestyle. It has every breed you can imagine in this thing. Yes, it does have watermarks, and that's why it was only 50 cents. Everything there was half off, so only paid 50 cents for it. But, like, let's say... Okay, these are cute. They're all cute. Let's say you want a Chinese Crested, which some one of <laughs> these... This kind of dog comes into my work, and absolutely love them but this is a chinese crested it tells you anything everything about them what color they come in what grooming do they need how suitable are they for family dogs what type of home uh, what type of owner should have him how compatible are they with other pets how much exercise oh this is the same page um so how easy are they to train what good points is good to point out what to be aware of, and what medical problems do they come with. So it just has everything you need to know about every breed ever, and I thought it was really useful uh, for next time that I do get dogs. I don't really care what kind, as long as they're from the shelter. So yeah, I just thought this was really helpful to be more knowledgeable about the breeds, and you never know, I do work with dogs, so it's good to know what is walking into my place. <laughs> So I got this bowl at Barnes and Noble, <laughs> a book place. I got a ramen bowl, but look how cute. I had a gift card and I wasn't interested in any books there. So, you know, I'm, not, oh, I'm out of my reading phase right now. So I just got a ramen bowl instead. It is Pusheen. I love Pusheen. I got the air freshener for Pusheen. He's adorable. Look how fat he is. And all you do is it came with chopsticks that look like wood but they're actually plastic you just stick it in and it comes on the other side and it just sits there it just sits there 
genius. But yeah, I use it for my noodles, obviously. Super cute. And it's pink. Love pink. Alright, so another thing that I got from thrifting. I can never have too many VHS rewinders. They're eventually going to stop selling them, donating them, even taking them in the Goodwill and stuff. So I got this for a couple bucks. Not bad. Oh, five dollars. Five bucks. Not bad. And it works. So that's great to have. Also got another puzzle. <laughs> this is from Dollar Tree. 350 pieces. We already completed it. That's why it's not shut all the way. But it just says dog person, which I totally am. It just says life is better with a dog, which I have a sign like that. That has uh, Charlie Brown hugging Snoopy. It's the cutest thing. Just has all kinds of cute little things around it. And a dog, of course. I don't know. We thought it was adorable. So we did it. It was kind of challenging, but easy at the same time. So that was fun. Another thing. We got a new line of Toonie Terrors. Look at that beauty. This is Tarman from Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Look how cool he looks. I'm definitely going to unbox him. I like it. Here's the little background card that they give you as always. This looks so cool. I love this movie. And another one from their line was Jigsaw. Look how cool. They made him look really good. That actually looks like Tobin. And of course it's got the pig mask. And it's got, uh, what is this thing? I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a bib or something. I thought it was his hood, but he has the hood on. Anyway, so there's Jigsaw. Here's the background. Looking dope. Looking like it's the first saw. Alright, so this is something that just came in the mail right now. Amazon just dropped it off. I got this neon sign. And it is pink. Obviously, it's not lit up right now, but it's a paw print. Obviously, my love for dogs. It was a no-brainer. It's hot pink and it's gonna look great. You're gonna see a clip right now how it looks at night in my room. I'm sure it looks really beautiful, vibrant and pink. And it has a little clip that I can, or a little switch that I can change the brightness from 10% to 100%. And it comes with two hooks that I can hook it on or a little chain that I can use it and nail it to the wall. All right, so now we're in my room, got more stuff. Got this movie, Ticket to Paradise. I saw this on stream and I thought it was hilarious. $2.50 from Book Off. Can't beat that. Great condition. Such a funny movie if you haven't seen this. Another one that I got was Ratatouille. I saw this for the first time this year and I loved it. I thought it was really cute. It had some funny moments. I love Remy. Remy's adorable. Got this at a thrift store for 2 bucks plus tax. And I love that it came with a slip cover. So here is without it. Same cover. But it, the cover's got a nice shimmy gloss to it. Holographic. See that? Ooh. <laughs> love this movie. So yeah, I had to have that. And lastly for movies, I got The Pope's Exorcist. I was a big fan of this movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it. But I loved it. I loved the bone crunching. When the girl is possessed, how she's climbing the walls, loved it, so I had to own it. So this is something that I didn't expect to see, but this is from Target. You know the, the kids book? The kids brand? A little golden book? You know, you used to read this as a kid with a little golden spine? Yeah, they make horror books, and they made a Gremlins one, and it's basically the whole movie as a book. They're like pop figures, you see that? I thought it was adorable. Five bucks for this. Adorable. So, might read this to my kid one day. You never know. And another one from that same line, The Golden Girls. If you know me, you know this channel. I'm obsessed with The Golden Girls. My favorite show of all time. And this is awesome. Another style of a kid's book. And this one is called The Way We Met, which is an episode in Golden Girls. I believe it's the end of season one. And it's the whole episode is just reminiscing of how they met. And this book, the dialogue, is word for word in that episode. It's crazy how accurate it is. And the scenes are very accurate to the episode as well. 
So yeah, I had to get this one, of, to of course, because I love this show. All right, so this is something that Walmart put out very randomly, and this is the 3D display of Friday the 13th Part 3, Part, yeah, Part 3, 3D. Um, they also had It, Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm sure you've seen this around. There it is. And it came with the blood right there, but that one didn't stay. I had to glue that on there. This one did. But look how cool that looks. This is shitting, <laughs> shitting. This is sitting on my Neko shelf. Very nice. And it gives you like an option to hang it up there if you like, but I don't trust hanging anything because ever since something fell in the middle of the night and it gave me a heart attack. <laughs> There's the shower hook that's out there. The knife is out here and then the shower. It's beautiful. And last but certainly not least, I went to my very first WWE event. I've been watching wrestling since I was five years old and we got tickets. We went awesome time. I put a short in my video, in my feed, you'll see a short. I can play a little clip right here. some merch this is cwo california world order this is exclusively to the arena uh where we went they don't sell this anywhere else unless you're like on amazon or ebay or something this is of course a homage to nwo new world order got a little wrinkled because i already wore it <laughs> and another shirt that i loved kevin also got it for me was the judgment day shirt that says rise we run the wwe and it's just a symbol for judgment day when they come out oh it says all rise sorry and then there's a little wwe sticker to know that it is authentic and the back just says the judgment day i love that it's white because i don't have many white shirts look how cool that looks Ugh, i can't wait to go see them again or to go to a, an event again but that's not all. But wait, there's more. We went to the shop, to the little, you know, merch, merch booth that they have. And he got me this. First of all, the bag is awesome. WWE shop. I guess, I'm not sure if all the arenas have this. This is the WWE official program. And it's like a collage of every superstar. And it also has two pages of super stickers. Superstar stickers, and it's just pictures of the wrestlers. It's main event: Jey Uso, Randy Orton. Here are some stickers that you can get with that, and it's just like a collage of people. Like, how cool is that? Great memory from this place for sure. There's more stickers right there. But yeah, so had a super fun time. Loved it. Can't wait to go back when they come here. Look at that. It just keeps going. And WWE. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I will see you guys in my next one. Another merch video. Bye!